And this is what the Lord showed me. The foundation of the kingdom, the foundation of every work we do for God, must be built on the foundation of love. Anything not built on the foundation of love is being shaken down by the Spirit of the Lord. I pray tonight, hear me church, I pray that every single one of us has circumcised ears to really hear what the Holy Spirit is saying in this hour. Everything not built on a foundation of love is being shaken by the hand of God. I want you to turn in your Bibles with me. Turn over to 1 Corinthians chapter 12. First Corinthians chapter 12. We're asking the Lord to speak to us for 2008. We're asking the Lord to set our course for 2008. We're asking God to make whatever adjustment needs to be made so that we can see the blessing of God released in our lives over this next year. How many are in agreement with me tonight on that? And the Holy Spirit has been speaking to me about the foundations of love within our lives. So I want to talk to you for a few minutes now about love. Yes, yes. And I want to pray tonight that God baptizes your life with supernatural love. Because I'm going to tell you, the church is powerless without love. First Corinthians 12 verse 31. But earnestly desire and zealously cultivate the greatest and best gifts and graces. I said before, the Holy Spirit, the anointing, it is by the grace of God. And Paul is saying desire, cultivate the greatest and best gifts and graces. The gifts of the Spirit, graces of God. The higher gifts and the choicest graces. And yet I will show you a still more excellent way. Lord, what can be more excellent than casting out demons? Lord, what can be more excellent than seeing the sick healed? What can be more excellent, Lord, than seeing creative miracles and blind eyes open and arms grow back and crippled people walking? What can be even more excellent than that? I'll show you a more excellent way, one that is better by far and highest above them all, love. If I could speak in tongues of men and even of angels, but have not love, that reasoning, intentional, spiritual devotion inspired by God's love for and in us, I am only a noisy gong and a clanging cymbal. If I have prophetic powers, gift of interpreting the divine will of God, and understand all the secret truths and mysteries, and possess all knowledge, if I know everything that's in the mind of God, and I have faith so that I can remove mountains. But I have not love. I'm nothing. If I give out all that I have to the poor in providing food. And if I surrender my body to be burned in order that I may glory. But have not love. I gain nothing. In other words, if anything you do. Any grace given by God that you use, if it is not built on the foundation of love, it's nothing in the eyes of God. Because you can't take credit for healing the sick. You can't take credit for prophesying the word of the Lord. You can't even take credit for giving to the poor. You can't even take credit for giving your body to be burned as a martyr. Because God says... It's by His grace. And if you have not love, all of that other stuff is nothing. Amen. What a shame it would be to serve the Lord all of our lives, but have an impure, undealt with motive. And in the end of the day, see all of our works over 50, 60, 70 years burnt up right in front of us. Because we were doing it with the wrong motive. I'm telling you tonight, I can save you. I can save you. The grief of losing every reward that God has stored up for you. 
I can save you that grief tonight if you will simply do one thing in your heart. Let the Holy Spirit examine every motive on the inside of you. That there is nothing you are doing to bring glory to yourself. There is nothing you are doing and taking credit for it in the eyes of man. Because the moment you take credit for something, you just lost your reward. The moment you do something, not because you're motivated by love, but because you're motivated by self, the moment you do something motivated out of self, the reward was just burnt up in the fire. I want you to have an eternity filled with the rewards of heaven.